have the new Voima with Bosch motor and 750 watt hour battery. Let's go into it. The changes from uh, Broza motor to Bosch motor is quite significant. I feel it as an upgrade from a little bit louder motor to a more quieter motor. And this motor is not so on and off when you start pedaling. So it kind of feels more normal riding of a uh, mountain bike. So if you spin slower, it goes slower. It's not kind of attacking too much. And the ride modes would we have here, like EMTB, uh, and also the Tor Plus, which is a really good liaison mode, uh, so it saves battery, but still has kick when you push the pedal down. I ended up riding less with the turbo mode, actually, and I've, I've been riding with the EMTB mode. Performance difference between Broza and Bosch is quite noticeable. When you ride Bosch motor after Broza, you can feel that there's more torque in the lower RPMs. The numbers are different. I don't know how they measure those numbers, but on a trail you can notice that uh, Bosch can deliver more power when it's needed. You can instantly accelerate for, uh, faster. You can start climbing from the middle of the climb easier because you don't need to push so much on the pedal that it kind of wakes up and it's, it gives you uh, power more gradually then it's not so on and off. When you reach that 25 limit on a trail, it doesn't feel like you're, uh, like the power kind of stops. It's, it's uh, quite elegant, the, the shift. Of course, you can feel the 25 when, it, when you reach that. Of course, the American customers have it on 32 like, and it's uh, 20 miles per hour. So I think that would be better for trail riding anyway. But um, in Europe, it, we have the 25. It feels like, um, you can accelerate faster, you climb easier, and again, when going over bumps, even manualing is easier with uh, Bosch, because it's the, the, the delivery of the power is more elegant. The noise difference between these two motors is uh, quite significant. I feel that Broza is noisier when you pedal, it's, it's like more like a whining noise, it's higher pitch, However, on the uh, Bosch, you don't hear like a windy no noise. You hear the electrical motor working and it's more, again, more elegant uh, sound. However, on the uh, Bosch, you have that clunking so sound uh, on the freewheel. That is uh, different. When you pedal backwards as well, Bro uh, Broza doesn't have any sound, but this one has a freewheel clickety-click like on the free, uh, free hop on the rear. If we think about the difference of durability, uh, snapping belts on Broza versus not snapping the belts on Bosch, I would take the Bosch in that sense. I've done like 30 plus 40 kilometer rides and the battery went to 20% at the maximum, but now the weather is colder, so everything affects. I have to trust the fact that when I look at the percentage of the battery, how it drains, this is going down slower because I'm using different modes. I'm not riding all the time with the boost mode, so I'm using Tor Plus, EMTB, because those feel better than Broza, that there was only the boost mode, and if I went to Tor, mode it didn't give any power really but the tor plus even though when you put the pedal down it gives you i don't know if it gives it maximum power but it gives a really good power kick none of the modes feel like okay the eco mode is is really you can feel that you lose power but none of the modes really uh, feel like you're you have to exercise more Updates on the designs are, uh, of course, the links, which you have probably seen on my uh, personal Instagram account. If you don't follow me, follow me, Leo underline Kokkonen, uh, so you can uh, see uh, the details there. Obviously, now you can see the battle mount, uh, there's two of them, and the batteries uh, under the, uh, the down tube. One more update we have done, so we have uh, reinforced the head tube, so now uh, this bike as well is uh, ready for tested with uh, dual crown, so you can build this uh, frame with dual crown. Around the BB there's uh, quite a big uh, difference to uh, Broze, the 
a motor is mounted from the uh, non-drive side uh, horizontally and then we have the cover which is adapter to the frame and then Bosch OEM cover after that. It is really good with the dirt and everything I've been riding only this dirty uh, trails during the testing period and no issues at all even though I don't have the cover all the everything works good and also the uh, charging port is now moved behind the bottle so it's it works really good it's actually pretty handy there it's pretty productive if you're riding with the bottle it's behind that and yeah everything uh, works really good before this one uh, goes to full production we want to do the FB test uh, with the maximum test available so uh, we want downhill category for this bike obviously we've been riding it hard as possible so it will be the most overall bike you can buy uh, in an e-bike category our team is working really hard to get this bike on production in december and on january february we're doubling up the production to gain up the gap uh, that was caused by the change of motor and battery so your bike will be on the way soon so let's hope everything goes good and thank you to our team